Hi babes, come with me to Florida. We're going to Palm Beach, Miami, and Melbourne. We're dancing, we're eating, and we're having a good time. We're starting off at Butterfly World, which is just north of Fort Lauderdale. This was my second time going. It's one of my favorite places on earth. So you walk in and it's a butterfly pavilion. And as you can see, the butterflies are just all around. They have all kinds of plants and like snacks for the butterflies. It is so gorgeous. Ariana, what are you doing here? One of my favorite places on earth. So I really feel like a big part of my job these days is to show people beauty, um, both in the world and in themselves. <laughs> I know it sounds really corny, but just listen. The world is a very ugly place. We already know this, okay? So we don't even need to go into that. What we can go into instead is places that are beautiful and make us feel peaceful and um, give us joy. And when it comes to dance, I really like people to see the beauty that they have. That's why I like doing video shoots and things like that. There's plenty of negative experiences to last us all a lifetime. But I think it's really, really important that you find places that just take your breath away and remind you how beautiful life is. Just try to be upset here at Butterfly World. Just <laughs> try it. You cannot be in a bad mood over here. That's why I like going to places like this because it just keeps my spirits up and um, helps me stay creative and yeah you can't be in a bad mood like anyway tour continues in addition to the butterfly pavilion there's also an aviary and some botanical exhibits and an indoor museum um, there's quite a bit to see here so i definitely recommend stopping as part of your trip this outdoor scenery is really pretty as well they also have a nursery where you can buy plants. The gift shop is gorgeous, but you're not allowed to film in there. And I just love it here. Right down the street is Festival Marketplace, which has an indoor flea market and a food court. So I like to combine my trip after I go to Butterfly World, head over to Festival Marketplace, grab something to eat and do some shopping. You could literally find anything that you wanted in here. I have not even had time to visit each and every stand that's in here. But the first thing we're gonna do is grab some food. So I went to this Cuban cafe because I didn't try the food last time and it was really good. I love the soursop drink. That was absolutely delicious. Then I went back to Miami Sunglasses to see my sunglass lady. She's amazing. And on the way to Palm Beach to my Airbnb, I stopped along the coast just to look at the sunset, have a little break from driving. I love visiting Florida. It is so peaceful here. And then this is my Airbnb that I rented, which exceeded all of my expectations. This place was absolutely gorgeous. Highly recommend. Here's the bedroom, super comfy, nice little bathroom, but the living room is just, I wish that was my living room. I went over to Malacor Thai Cafe, which was close to the Airbnb, and the food was great. The green curry was absolutely delicious. And then here's the Airbnb in the morning with the natural light. Now, come with me on this walkthrough. This is absolutely insane. Like I said, I booked this place on purpose because it was just so gorgeous in the pictures. And look at this little courtyard. So we just went through the main entrance. Then you walk through this courtyard and the yellow building right in front of me is the actual Airbnb suite, but you're welcome to hang out in the courtyard while you're staying there. So that's the entrance. And then around the corner is another part of the garden. This video does not even do the garden justice 
in person, it is absolutely breathtaking. I would love to have a garden like this. Sorry if the lawn care in the background is really loud. It's day two, we're at the casita. I had a chance to see the garden in the sunlight and um, the Airbnb host is actually a landscape architect, which is completely obvious. This place is immaculate, like, it's truly, truly gorgeous. Um, so I wanna go to the beach um, before my workshops today. They're not until the afternoon and we're gonna go get some breakfast and then go to the beach, come back and get ready to dance. I went to get breakfast over by the square in Palm Beach. This place was called Pura Vida and it was very aesthetic, very cute. I definitely need these little hanging plants for my house. Got a smoothie and some lox on toast um, vibes, looking good. Went over to the square, walked around. Love this garden shop. Couldn't take anything home with me, but I like to look. And then my favorite street in the world, I drove over to the beach and took a little beach break before I had to go to the studio. I don't know why I keep doing this because I always show up sweaty, but it's absolutely worth it. <laughs> and now, welcome to Palm Beach Pole. This was my second time visiting. Morgan is the studio owner. I adore her. Here's what the space looks like inside. I was there to do two workshops. The poles are really tall. The lighting is great. I didn't get any footage of the workshops, but here's the iconic sign. All right, it's the next day and we are headed down to Miami. So I'm in a rental car and I stopped along the coast at a few different places, including Living Green Cafe, my favorite place in Boca Raton. Last time I went to Palm Beach Pole, I stayed in Boca Raton and I went here every single day. They have a hot and cold salad bar, they have smoothies, they have pastries. And now we're in Miami. Here's the Airbnb. Sorry, this is going by so fast. Um, this was really cute and it was right next to the beach. So I met up with my friend Kane and we stayed in North Beach, Miami. So that's where we're walking to now. It was very windy, but we got to see all of the kite surfers, which was amazing. And here's what it looks like down the beach. And here's Kane. Good morning. Hi, girly pops. <laughs> um, we are headed for a little exploration. We're gonna go to the botanical gardens. We're also gonna find some food. Yum. We're gonna cross this crosswalk while vlogging and stay safe. You guys stay safe out there. All right, we'll see you when we reach somewhere fun. How is it? Pretty good. Okay. So we made it down to the botanical gardens. It's free admission. They have a Japanese garden, um, different sections. It was really pretty, a really nice oasis. I had never been there before. Jump in. Oh my God. Three, two, one. You gonna jump on the koi? Three, two. One. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, he ended up making it in. After the botanical garden, we walked through this open area mall that had shops and restaurants, and we made our way to lunch at our favorite restaurant, Suviche. Okay, that was one of the delicious. most delicious. One of the most delicious meals I've had ever, I think. That ceviche was so fresh. Mmm. Oh, delicioso. Unreal. Suviche in Miami Beach. Uh, kind of in between North and South Beach. And I want to go back tomorrow for lunch and dinner. I want to live there. <laughs> I want to be introduced to the chefs, please. Oh, that um, would be nice. So we just finished lunch and we're going to walk over towards the beach and walk up the not on the sand but there's like a little walkway that you can bike and rollerblade and walk on and head back um, towards our Airbnb 
And then I just don't know how we're gonna be able to top this restaurant experience, but I we're don't gonna, think so. We're gonna try. I'm sure we can. And then if dinner is not great tonight, we're going back for lunch tomorrow. We're going back. So we ended up walking all the way back to our Airbnb along this path, which was really easy and comfortable. And then we ended up going back to the beach. We took some pictures. Here's my little bathing suit. And there's a dog eating a coconut. Okay, so we came back from the beach, relaxed for a little bit. And we are going to take the Miami Beach trolley yeah. to dinner. So, where are we eating right now? <laughs> so we're back in Suviche, literally like what, six hours later? Um, but we got some different food this time. We got some noodles, and we also got a calza, and uh, it is giving very much ceviche, and we got another ceviche that's coming right now. We ended up walking back all the way from ceviche, but this time we stopped to check out fancy hotels to plan our next trip. The next day we got breakfast at the cafe and market across from our Airbnb. It was delicious. And then we headed down to South Beach. We rode the trolley down here to check out the outdoor gym. They have a pole. Look at us. Okay, just so everyone knows, I'm pretty sure that's like a 60 millimeter pole. Um, definitely more than a 50. Still fun. Bring a towel and wipe it down, I think. <laughs> but we're gonna go relax on the beach. That's enough. That's enough of a workout. After all that working out, it was time to enjoy South Beach. The water was the perfect temperature, gorgeous color. So we took a little beach break before it was time to grab dinner. Look at where this restaurant is. It's literally at the end of Miami Beach. So it was a Tel Avivian kitchen, decor, aesthetics, 10 out of 10. The food was good. We had a wonderful dinner together as always, but we both agreed that ceviche um, was our favorite. Then we walked back along South Beach and just checked out some different places. Um, we actually snuck into the Versace mansion, but I don't have footage of that. Um, we were just enjoying our time, checking things out. This store, I live here now. <laughs> then we went to get some ice cream and kept walking. There's so much to enjoy and explore here. I definitely need to plan a return trip to Miami. Now it's the next day and I've made my way to Cocoa Beach where I had this really cute Airbnb. It was so nice and cozy after all the busyness in Miami. The first night was very quiet. I watched the sunset and I went down to the beach, went to Coconuts, hung out. The next morning, I loved this health bar place, went there every single day. Went to Melbourne Beach, Florida, which is where my grandmother used to live and just enjoyed some time on the beach where we used to hang out. Before I went to downtown Melbourne and visited Bliss Fitness Studio. Here comes Kaylee at the front desk. Hey boo, good to see you. We are experiencing Bliss today. When you head in, the first studio is where they do their off the pole dance classes and aerial classes. Each room was very large and very comfortable and beautiful. Here's the pole room. So much space, love the lighting, love the vibe. We are having a party at Bliss. As usual, I didn't get footage of anything I did. Okay, wait, here's me doing a little dance at the end. But I did a couple of workshops and a teacher training. Thank you so much, Basha, I had a blast and I ended the night at a rooftop. Okay. All right, so last night was amazing. I did a couple privates at Bliss Fitness and then I did a teacher training with the instructors and I absolutely loved it. Um, I wanna do more of those and um, yeah, basically I just kind of walked around Melbourne. Oh, I went to the beach because my grandma used to live in Melbourne Beach. So when I had a little break, I went over there. Um, and then went to this rooftop bar after I was done. Uh, Hotel Melby. <laughs> 
Today I have two workshops, they're sold out, and I'm going to Coco Village because they're having a little like craft fair. That's where I went yesterday to try to find food, but I couldn't find any. Um, so I'm going back for the little arts and crafts um, thing, and then I'll head over to Melbourne. And they're also having like a, fest not a festival, but like a little sale market for botanical stuff, which I absolutely love. So I definitely want to hit both. And I still actually have a lot that I need to do um, scheduling wise. I need to hop on my phone um, and get that done. So I don't know if I'll get that to that today, but I also, that's like weighing on me. Um, so yeah, we're going to go head over to Coco Village and then over to Melbourne. So here's the arts and crafts fair I went to at Coco Village, which is a great place to visit anyway. And I had a wonderful time, spent my morning over there, just kind of window shopping around before I headed over to Melbourne. And this is the downtown Melbourne area. It has shops and restaurants. You can kind of walk around. They had a botanical fest going on, which I was there in a second. I actually did get a plant there and it's growing in my yard right now. Then I had one day to myself um, after I wrapped up all my teaching and everything like that at the studios. I ended up going to a turtle rescue center that had an aquarium and I don't know where the rest of my footage was but it was really really cute. And then I went over to Coco Beach and spent my last night over there hung out on the pier, and then of course had to visit the famous Ron John surf shop. The next day I drove to Orlando and I stopped at the botanical gardens just for one last botanical moment before flying home, and that was my trip. 